All right. <laughs> We're back on the spot. I gave her no warning for this. Okay. Your top five oh my. favorite plants to put, house plants to put in your fish tanks. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, well obviously pothos. Pothos is probably your most common run of the mill beginner, easy to find house plant. And I love a good common plant. Um, they mix so well with the tanks. They grow in the tanks. They grow out of the tanks. So, almost. I mean, obviously there's more than one type. What's this kind? Do you know? So, I'm terrible with individual types. Um, mm. But this is just like, I think, your, your variegated pothos. No, I think the other one over there is golden. That's right? golden. And then I've got, this is a marble pothos. Okay. Oh, yeah. See the marbling on there? Yep. And then just your typical green pothos there. And like, you know, these are sitting in pots. I've got them just hanging, you know, in tanks. They put themselves in tanks. They crawl around the room. They latch on the <laughs> wall. <laughs> they, they do, there's so many different varieties. Um, you really can't go wrong with any of them. I've got all sorts everywhere. Um, and they're probably my number one go-to house plant. All right, no need to watch the rest. That's number one. We started at, the, <laughs> at number one. Put that one at the end. <laughs> um, it's definitely the most I have. I, I'd say, though, I see that I can't pick a number one because the other one I really love is. Oh, well, this is a big guy. Monsteras, philodendrons in general, uh, but a good vining philodendron, especially this monstera. It's rooted in this tank here, and it's just hanging on the edge, and probably. All of this growth has been since it hung here. And if you, something really cool on the, one of these aerial roots from this plant, it's gone all the way over, comes down into this tank and is what is that root structure in the half wow. big tank. And it's just like going nuts. And like this tank back in the corner is full of monstera starts. I'll be bringing some of these to Fishtoberfest. Um, but you see all the roots at the bottom. Nice. It's just, it's such a good tank plant. And I just plop them in there. Sometimes I add wood in the back and kind of keep it structured. This is kind of fun. What is this? This is a plant I got from Bob. What is this plant? Do you remember? Um, I do, but I don't remember. Like I know, like I can see the name. We'll add it. Yeah, I'll put it on the screen. Yeah. Like right here. But anyways, it's one of the prettiest plants he has in his fish room. And yeah, I was it's like, one of my favorites, I was actually. Like, Can I have a piece of that? <laughs> <laughs> and all of this has been since it's been in here and on it, it sits here, it's wound itself all the way around this and was growing up through kind of the the holes in this monstera leaf to the light. Um, so whatever that is is fun. Honestly, I just love to try a plant in a tank. Spider plants are another great one. You see all the root structure there. So yeah. this is one I've never tried of, is the wandering, I think they call it dude now. Wandering dude? Yeah, I think that's the new name. Yes, I actually have better luck with these as starts in water than I do as plants in soil. For oh, whatever wow. reason, the starts do good. I lose the mother plants all the time. <laughs> um, so those ones though are super fun. Uh, you can like, this is just a piece of like driftwood I just put on the top and that kind of helps give it something to hold structure. So it's basically just sitting up here yeah. with the roots. I even have a saltwater plant. I got this from the saltwater section at Petco. They sell them in the oh. little like cylinders and I put it in here. It's loving the light and I don't add any salt to here. Hmm. So I'm not afraid to try kind of anything in there. I even have <laughs> snake plants in the back and you can see, um, I just put one leaf of a snake plant in that very back corner and it, you can already see oh, it, there it's it is. growing a little baby up the side. Yeah, that's crazy. So all sorts of fun stuff you can try house plant wise. Um, Any other favorites? Uh, let's see. Oh, there's some more of this guy growing out of this tank. Yeah, that one's a really... Uh, wow, he's doing well. Super. There's, it's just a bunch of the individual. When I realized I was losing the mother plant, I just decided to save <laughs> save some of the, the, the strands of the leaves. So that one's kind of housing most of them. Um, but yeah, pothos, you know, there's green globe uh, pothos. There's um, philodendrons, any vining philodendrons. Um, I believe this is pronounced as a cordatum, lemon lime. These do really well, like these aerial roots. Like if you just, they call these kind of like 
like a node, um, these areas where the, the leaves meet the stem and there's usually some aerial roots that grow out. I don't see a true node on this, but you could cut it here and I would probably take off this leaf and that I would put it just a start in the tank and it would grow in no time to become an entire strand like that. So nice. it's fun just to play with. What about the, the micans? Do you have this in any tanks yet? Not yet, but I am training some leaves. Uh, some of these oh, are coming up and over down. And down too. So I'm hoping it's gonna crawl along this piece of wood here. And then I'm letting some of them crawl up along here. Unfortunately, I have lids, but if I can get it to come across, I'll let it come in this tank. And that's the hope. So. All right. Well, I think that was more than five, but that, more that's than five. Uh, a good yeah. start for anyone wanting to try. Those are my favorites, and you could honestly try so many different plants. And the reason is, one, like pothos and phyllos, they grow so fast, they yes. suck out nitrates really fast. It's so. a great, like, that's one of the things that drew me into the hobby was the symbiotic relationship between the plants and the tanks. Like, the humidity that the tanks give off, the plants really love. The plants will then kind of dip into these tanks and help pull out the nitrates. They provide um, like hiding places, like these half beaks are all hiding in this oh, one. Oh yeah, I was gonna ask you, this like this is pretty common, but I don't know, remember the name of it. There's a couple different forms of that have this leaf structure. I don't, the typical one I know of is the Adansonii. I don't think that that's what this is, mm -hmm. um, but that, it was the dying. Swiss cheese. The Swiss cheese effect is what I call it, yeah. That one was dying in soil, so I cut it back, I plopped it in this tank, and it's just been thriving ever since. Yeah, this that's is more another of marble. The, the marble. I really like the variegation that's coming through on this particular leaf. But I've got all different shades and, and variations of the pothos and it's my favorite to play with. All right, so if you want to start your jungle to eventually look like this, <laughs> yeah, there's some uh, plants and some tips for you. I saw on my Google calendar that it was exactly two years since we put this thing together, since oh, this wow. was painted and racks were put in, and it's cool now I've got fish breeding, I've got fish in tanks more than I ever have. You know, things are getting settled, but it's always changing, which is super fun. All right, well, thank you. Thanks.